This is this man, the head of Karen Models, one of the largest and most prestigious agencies in the country. His name is Jean-Luc Brunel. The girls told us Brunel is very careful about the models who are under the protection of Eileen Ford. But Courtney and Sherry, who are not Ford models, told us about the dinners he invites his other girls to attend with his male friends. It's a meat market. You are there for the purpose of somebody wanting to take you home to bed. He is acting as a matchmaker. He's got the agency. He's got the girls. His friends say, oh, Jean-Luc, I'd like to have, you know, I'd like to meet some girls or we're having a party tonight. Can you bring some girls? And what happens if you say no? You don't work. You've actually known, be very careful on this, you actually have known that he has made someone pay a professional penalty for saying no. I know, I paid a penalty for saying no. no. I was personally proposed to by himself, Jean-Luc, and I said, no way. I laughed in his face, and I had no more appointments, and I never worked. A lot of these bigwigs at the agencies literally hold, have a scale where in this hand they have your career and in this hand they have what they want. And your career can go up if they get what they want. If they don't get it, your career goes down. At discotheques like the Bandouche and the Palace, models are admitted free. When we filmed at the Bandouche, Jean-Luc Brunel was there. A number of models told us he has used cocaine heavily and offered it to the girls along with help in their careers. Many of the girls who spoke with us said openly that they had been regular cocaine users. But some warned that there were things that went beyond cocaine. This one asked to be photographed in shadow. So you first met Jean-Luc Brunel in a nightclub mm -hmm. when he offered you drugs, mm -hmm. cocaine. Mm -hmm. And Jean-Luc... Did he use drugs? Oh, yes. You say, oh, yes, a yeah. lot? Well, that's, that's why I used to like to see him, because he'd always give me a little a vial of cocaine and say, you know, go have a good time in the bathroom. That was more or less, he did that with all the girls. And everyone else. This girl told us a few years ago she went to Jean-Luc's house with a few of his friends. She said a powerful hallucinogenic drug was slipped into her drink and that Jean-Luc kept urging her to go in and take a bath. Um, I started hallucinating, and at first, you know, I was very confusing. It was very scary, because if you don't know that you've been drugged, and all of a sudden you start hallucinating, it's, that's very scary. She said she managed to get out of the house, but stayed disoriented for 24 hours. But this ex-model says several years ago she went to Jean-Luc's house and didn't get away. She asked to have her voice and face disguised. He gave you a drink? Yes. You drank it, and then what? I blacked out. I don't remember anything after that. The next thing, thing you I remember was what? being in this man's bed. Who was he? Do I have to say the name? Say it the was Jean-Luc from Karen's Modeling Agency. You were raped? Yes, I do know that. You're sure? Yes, I'm positive. I, I know. You think everybody knows this about Jean-Luc Brunel? Oh, yes. A lot of people know that. A lot of people. They continue to deal with him. Everyone will, uh, continues to deal with I don't know why.